Hello, it's Mars and friends. In this video, we want to talk about another useful and efficient feature of a Smart Spot land. This video is about determining the access level of bot buttons. First, if you don't have any idea how to create your own bot, watch this playlist. You can see whose link it is. And after that, continue seeing this video. If you want to limit access to your bot buttons for your users, this video is for you. For example, you can say this is my bot and I write a slash start. As you can see, there are three buttons and I want to select one of the buttons and I'm user here. I'm not admin. So I click on, for example, customers. You can see system message. To run this button, you must first register in the bot. This is the restriction for my button. And I have to click on bot sign up. You can see the register question. And I have published a tutorial video how to create register questions, but I show you here. Log into SmartSpot land web panel. And you can see here, bot users register questions. In this section, you can create your questions. So let's continue. And this is another register question. That's okay. And there is a message. If your information is correct, click on yes. So my registration was successful. Okay, I skipped this message. And after that, I will explain it to you. Back is start. I am a registered user. And uh, so I can click on customers. And you can see the content of the button. In this video, I would like to teach you how to restrict your users. For example, you can allow only your registered users to have access to your buttons. This is the Smart Spots Land web panel. If I click on bot buttons, I can see all of my buttons here and all the buttons have edit icon in front of it. Okay. And as an example, I want to edit this button. In information section, you can see access user groups and allowed users. You can change it to all or only registered users, or you can only allow your specific groups to see your buttons. I enable access user groups here and here I have to add my group. We have published a tutorial video how to group your users in a panel. If you don't know, please watch it first and after that continue watching this video. So I have three groups and I can select one or more of these groups. Then I click on edit button. Don't forget that. And uh, also sellers. You know, I don't want to all of my registered users have access to the sellers button. So I change this button and add sellers group here and click on edit button. Let's come back to bot to see all these changes. I use a slash start again. And I select, for example, customers button. And there is a restriction here. Dear user responsible and support. For execute this button, you must be registered in one of the groups. I have to join the group. I join the customers group and you can see dear user, your membership in group customers successfully done. And I have to wait for admin confirmation. So it's done. And there is one important point. Okay, I want to explain it now. 
log into a smart bus vendor panel. You can see there is bot management menu here. And if I click on bot setting, a window will open to me. There is an other settings from my button. So I click on it. And the important point is here. How to restrictions on button. You know, if you disable this option, not only your users can tap access to your button, but also they don't see your button. And I'll show you. Click on save button. Come back to bot. Use the slash to start again. And you can see there is just one button and I cannot see the other buttons. So my video is done. If you have any question, you can contact us via SparseBotLand support and uh, which of these links is in a caption. Have a good time. Stay tuned for our other videos. Thank you.